Hello legends, welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we will be showing you how to make the most of your raids on the map Lighthouse. I'm going to show you my way of rubling and hopefully you can get some tips and tricks from this and hopefully this will help you make some money in Escape from Tarkov. Lighthouse is a very tough map to play as there is rogues, plenty of scavs and it's like a three lane map. So on either side, you have mountains, high raised levels. In the middle, you have a long road. So caution is needed when moving anywhere on this map. I will be showing you my way of making some rubles and getting out of the map quick and safe. Big shout out to all of you who commented on the last video. It made my day and I'm glad most of you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed already, do hit the subscribe button and do hit that bell so you know when I upload next. I appreciate it. Right, enough of me waffling. Let's get into the video. So before getting into the raids, I want to talk about what um, kit I like to bring to Lighthouse. I usually go with something cheap and cheerful that can get the job done. You're going to want something uh, long distance. So I stick, I stick a Valde or a Spectre or whatever scope you, you like the most is personal preference, really. The keys I am bringing in are Marin Car Trunk Key, a uh, convenience store storage room key and Hillside House Key. These are the keys I do like to use in Lighthouse. There is one more I do want to get the USEC first safe key. Obviously safe keys are always good to have because they spawn rare loot so it's definitely worth the chance at a 50k with 40 uses you're going to make your money back well worth in my opinion honestly wearing a big bag on this map is just going to get you spotted easier and you don't want that we want to be seen as less as possible so why lighthouse lighthouse is actually uh it used to be one of my favorite maps when you used to be able to go to the expansion the light keeper is now guarded it makes it uh, a bit less of an enjoyable map to go to but i still don't mind doing it every now and again uh running a few raids i am going to show you a lot more maps throughout the series as a lot of people can't run streets and obviously you know as we know streets is the best map for rubling but i am willing to show you my way of rubling um these other maps and hopefully these will help you if um especially if you can't run the streets of tarkov but in general if you feel like running a different map these will hopefully help you. Yeah, so the must-haves are a long-distance weapon with a scope, a decent backpack, and the last thing um, is a must for me is night vision, as I do tend to go nighttime on Lighthouse. Nighttime Lighthouse makes things a lot easier. If you do end up spawning near the rogues, or you do have to go up near the rogues um, uh, for some reason, or to hit the extract, whatever it may be, these give you the option to see better around the uh, map of Lighthouse in the dark, and the rogues cannot see you as well as they can in daytime. If you go in the daytime, there's certain areas where you can't peek from or you're going to get blasted by the rogues. Whereas if you're in nighttime with night vision, I find I can pick the rogues off with ease. And um, nighttime raids in on Lighthouse tend to be a lot quieter PvP wise. So I um, I would highly recommend uh, going nighttime um, with these night vision goggles as Lighthouse isn't really lit up too well. And these help massively. Right, without further ado, let's get into the first raid and I can show you my way of rubble. I do ensure all for every raid. Uh, it gives me the option to dump my gear and take the opponent's gear if I get a kill or so. Uh, if I do die in a random spot from the rogues, I more likely will get this back. Also, very quickly, before we get into the raid, I do want to talk about bear and usec on this map. If you are a bear, you will be aggroed from a further distance by the rogues than you would as a usec bear that in mind if you are a bear even when you're running with your teammates if you're a bear um and your teammates are usex you will all get aggroed from a larger distance so learning that this distance is uh important um when fighting the rogues so we have spawned at southern road as you can see the difference where night vision is huge so on Southern Road we do spawn here straight away, you get some uh, food and ammo spawns, uh, check the, um, I always check the, the trunks just to see if there's anything in those, there's usually nothing too crazy. If you walked up this way it would bring you to expansion, um, but what I tend to do is run between these two cars, straight between the two trees, and straight up the mountain. You can run all the way up here, and this is a quick way to get up the mountain here on the lighthouse so as you come over the hill there is a stash straight away but do be aware there is a spawn across the road and people tend to do rush across so do be careful of that and people tend to look up here um from down low so don't peek too long we'll run for the right side of the map is where we want to go just in front of the helicopter the crashed helicopter at the crash helicopter there is a toolbox there is usually two med boxes but they are not here right now and there can be a grenade case etc uh by the fire there can be an ammo spawn and just before we do go on you will see this chair on top of the hill straight up from the crashed helicopter it can spawn rare loot 
as you can see no luck this time um there is a spawn right here so someone could have spawned here and checked that before you so just do be aware of this i am going to hit a pk before we hit the cottage area as it can be very busy area do be aware the bushes here as you run along there can be campers especially now with the snow gone it's a lot less visible so do be aware of this there is one more stash spawn on your right just keep an eye on your right hand side about halfway between the chair and the cottage area keep to the right until you see the cottage area then i run underneath this first part of the cottage Hop up on this rock, over the fence, and I enter the cottage this side while keeping an eye on the windows, keep listening out for any area that can be looting underneath or outside, and you hit a med bag straight away. I open the door, play with caution, as people... As people do tend to camp this door a lot of the time, you'd be surprised. People like hiding behind this kitchen area, behind this door, the sh um, on the stairs, etc. Um, this can be a camped area for sure. First bedroom on your right can spawn a duffel bag. It can also spawn some ammos on these shelves here. Do be aware of that. Sometimes when there's a bit of a lit up area, I do take off the MVGs just to see a bit better. There's a weapon spawn here on this chair. Just check all the chairs you can check this desk out here for some ammo but be aware of the mountain across the people can't snipe on this mountain right here uh upstairs has a rare loot spawn where the snooker table is has food spawns um has a rare loot spawn right on this cardboard box right here sometimes uh on the shelves etc now with somebody getting the closer spawn this can be looted by the time you get here sometimes so you need to be a look as well then uh you can check this table here it can have rare spawns right here at times uh food spawns around the kitchen area um right here on this shelf here as before you go into the shed just in from the kitchen there can be rare loose spawns take caution as people do camp the shed also i've had experiences this uh, cloth here can have a rare loose spawn check this floor here for some loose loot it has a toolbox then we can go downstairs check the bedroom as you can see it is very very quiet right now so nighttime raids do tend to be a lot easier um we will check the med room as it has a med box check all around this area here as uh, some weapon crates weapon part crates etc this table here can spawn some rare loot some ammo on the chair and then we can enter the cinema room can spawn intel on the chairs uh some loose loot items on the, on the shelving unit some uh food and water then we can continue downstairs to the gym as we enter the room beside the gym there can be a rare loot spawn on this body in the water also can be a spawn just up from the tennis court there can be ammo spawns on the pallets and there can be a rare loot spawn in this wooden box we can now make our way down to the tennis court tennis court has weapon part spawns weapon spawns you name it make sure to check thoroughly around the tent area um these benches here on the tennis court have made bag spawns rare loose spawns etc we are going to go back up there is a spawn outside of the house there is a spawn across from the house as we come in there could also be a weapon crate spawn underneath the house just here but right, this gate is usually closed so we do know someone has entered through there we want to come in here to this little shed check the locker for rare loot want to check the med bag uh there also can be duffel bag spawns just here ammo spawns and a weapon spawn in here and now we move on to the next chalet take caution when leaving here as there can be a lot of campers in these rocks and bushes so we are now entering the next chalet which is right beside the cottage area the goons can spawn here but it seems pretty quiet here for now so i do take this route down the mountain take off that hill as quick as possible and uh we do like to check out the garage area before entering the actual chalet so it looks like someone has been here but they have missed an armor repair kit this is a, a popular spawn for it right here it can happen a lot so do check this every time now a weapon repair kit is heavy we are 66 kg and if i remove that 
46 kg, so it is 20 kg in weight, but is r r worth a lot of rubles. And uh, honestly, I tend to keep these because it saves you money in the long run when repairing your armor, etc. So that is a W find so far. I can't uh, tell you how many times I found a armor or weapon repair kit in that area, um, in the garage. As you can see, movement is restricted, so that is why it is important to bring in the likes of the mules, the tremolols, etc. So, take caution when entering the chalet. Um, this is a dangerous loose spawn, but there can be vertexes, uh, bitcoins, etc. So, in that wooden box, I do like to check that. So, as we enter into our left, straight across from the gym, there is a med spawn in this room here, and there is weapon parts spawn just here. And a duffel bag ammo spawn right here. As I said in the last video, also, if you do want to check out some uh, prices mid raid, you can always enter my chat, exclamation point price, space, and the name of the item you need to find out the price of. And it will, uh, the bot in the chat will tell you the price on the spot. Otherwise, you can look at Tarkov Wiki. I will link that down below. It has been a great help to me when I was learning the game and it continues to be a good help to me well playing the game so as you can see we have duffel bag spawns there um we are gonna go upstairs and loot upstairs so as you can see someone was here and loot the safe already it does have a, a weapon case spawn so next room across does have another safe that you can unlock with the same key as we talked about before the usec first safe key if we do get to loot these areas they do have these spawns uh we have weapon crate spawns ammo spawns weapon crate can spawn outside here on the porch the snooker table can have a body spawn right here can have ammo spawns also last room when you left before you leave can have a toolbox in the corner just here that is the chalet done and dusted um i do tend to run to the left here and check this little outdoor area as it can have rare loose spawns and food spawns just check the chairs tables so my guy is struggling a bit, so I am going to hit and trim it all. And an SJ6. This will come to uh, just around 90, 80, 90k for the both of those stims, and they will help your stamina and strength severely. Uh, we are making our way to the last outdoor area on the right-hand side of the chalet. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but there can be a lead spawn in the back room here. Uh, just under the meat, I guess you could say. Um, right there. There can be a spawn. There is a med bag spawn. And now we can make our way down to use the convenience store storage room key, which is closer to the rogues. So do take caution, as I said before, if you are a bear, as they may aggro you. Before we leave, check the body spawn, and off we go. Um, I like to take this through here, down low in between both of the mountains, as there's a lot of cover. But I am going to take a quick left down here before we get into the cottage area. There is a lot of scavs around this area, so take caution. I do tend to check this area over here, the storage room key. Uh, obviously, you'll want to come over here and enter the store itself and open the door. As you see on your right-hand side as you enter, I'll uh, take off the MVGs. There's a toolbox spawn. There can be rare loose spawns, as you can see as a great right now. There's food spawns. So not fantastic right now, but for the price of the key, it is worth taking that chance, in my opinion. So the house beside the convenience store area isn't usually too um, impressive for me. But I will check it out. As the raid is uh, a bit quiet, there can be duffel bag spawns, absolutely. Make sure to check out all the rooms as they do have duffel bags and loose loot spawns. You never know what you could find. Check upstairs as duffel bags and jacket spawns. As you can see, someone was here already. So we're not going to spend too much time looting this area. What I am going to do is get away up towards the cottages. We are going to loot the cottages and then leave a path to shoreline. And that will be a quick and easy ruble run. The hillside house key which is the first house on the left as you enter the cottage area. I do check the uh, shed in here first for some loose spawns, as you can see. Then we go check our hillside house. Uh, 
as jacket spawns, rare loot spawns, as you can see. Our chain lift, duffel bag. Fuel spawn, huge. And as you can see, we got VPX, which is another rare item. This key is very, very worth the money. Right, so we are very, very full right now. Usually you can't check out all these cottage area buildings. For some loose loot. Um, can't spawn tank batteries in the, in the wooden boxes, etc. But for now, we are pretty full. So we're going to take our wins and leave. Oh, okay, there is dead players and dead scavs here. So I'm not sure how I feel right now. We are not going to take that chance in case someone is leaving those bodies for bait. With nine minutes left, we should be safe, but at the same time, you never know. So I am going to check as many space places as possible as we enter through the cottages. Stick to the right hand side. Run towards the goalposts. Past the goalposts. Take a stick to the right. And stick tight to the rocks. And just down at the water here you have your path to shoreline extract. And that is a ruble run. On Lighthouse in Escape from Tarka. Hopefully those uh, spots do do well for you. And give you the rare loot. As you can see we, we, we did have a decent run there. With no no high PvP fights. No scav fights. Uh, no rogues. No goons. Nice and safe. Now that can change. But for now we've had a nice uh, ruble run. As you can see we got an MCX AR. Tandulac. Paracord. VPX. Some rare loot items and loose items. Um... We got an armor repair kit and a fuel and some rare items. So in total, I'd say this raid was this raid was around one million rubles, which is not bad uh, considering the um, low risk um, option we take to loot in this map. And that is a safe way of rubling on the map lighthouse in the Escape from Tarkov. If you did like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. That would mean a lot to me. And please do let me know what map you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.